300,000-year-old footprints discovered in Germany years. Scientists have presented three footprints recently discovered at a research site in Lower Saxony, Germany. Scientists believe that the traces were left by a representative of Homo heidelbergensis, and the prints themselves may be up to 300,000 years old. Years. Is it possible to get to know the ecosystem in which our ancestors lived 300,000 years ago? Years ago. Scientists from Germany did this thanks to the discovery of Paleolithic traces imprinted by man. They are surrounded by traces of animals of that time, which allows you to understand the environment of that era even better. These are the oldest human footprints from the area of modern Germany. The traces were found by an international research team led by scientists from the University of Tübingen and the Senckenberg Center for Human Evolution and Paleoenvironment, Schepp. They come from a population of 300,000 years old complex of archaeological sites located in Schoningen in Lower Saxony. Experts believe that the footprints were left by Homo heidelbergensis. The discovery was published in the journal Quaternary Science Reviews. The discoveries spark the imagination of scientists, who are now dreaming of idyllic visions. Perhaps in the described place 300,000 years ago there was a lake several kilometers long and several hundred meters wide. In the vision of the scholars, it was surrounded by a birch pine forest and grasses. Herds of elephants, rhinos and even toad ungulates gathered on the shores of the reservoir, drinking water and bathing. And everything was watched by a family of Heidelberg people, a species of man that had long since died out. This is what Schoningen in Lower Saxony could have looked like 300,000 years ago. Years ago, believes the lead author of the discovery, Dr. Flavio Altamora from Schepp together with information from sediment analysis and archaeological excavations. The traces discovered give us insights into the paleo environment and the mammals that once lived in the area. The prints include three harmonins that lived about 300,000 years ago. Years ago. These are the oldest human traces known from Germany and were most likely left by Homo heidelbergensis, explains Altamora. Homo heidelbergensis was not the ancestor of modern humans, but of our other relative, the Neanderthal. This species is considered to be an intermediate form between Homo erectus and Homo heidelbergensis and Homo sapiens. It was first described in 1908 by Otto Schotensack. The remains of the Heidelberg man have been found mainly in Germany and Hungary. It is believed that Homo heidelbergensis initially lived in Africa, but then wandered to Europe. Traces of the presence of this human species have also been found in Poland. Researchers believe that the flint tools discovered over 50 years ago in the tunnel Wielki cave were made by Homo heidelbergensis. Scientists believe that the two tracks from Schoningen belong to juveniles using the lake's resources. Depending on the season, there was plenty of food to be found around the lake, including plants, fruits, leaves, shoots, and mushrooms. Our findings confirm that an extinct human species lived along the shores of shallow lakes or rivers, says Altamora. The discovered tracks provide insight into the daily life of the Harmonin family of the time and may provide information about its behavior and social composition. Scientists conclude that the traces were left by a family group that did not come there to hunt, but only to use the nearby natural resources. The team also described a series of elephant tracks, some as impressive as 55 centimeters, that were probably left by individuals of the extinct species Paleoloxodon antiquus. At that time, they were the largest land animals, with straight tusks and a weight of up to 13 tons. During the excavations, 
A trace of a rhino of the species Stephanorhinus kirchbergensis or Stephanorhinus hemitochus was also discovered. This is the first print of any of these Pleistocene species ever found in Europe. A new drug for Alzheimer's has been developed. Side effects are a problem. Researchers from the American pharmaceutical company Lilly have shown that an experimental drug therapy called Donanemab reduces the cognitive decline associated with Alzheimer's disease. However, questions remain about the drug's potential side effects. Among the neurodegenerative diseases, the development of an effective drug for Alzheimer's disease is certainly a priority for scientists. Recently, American scientists have shown a significant slowdown in the decline of cognitive functions after administering a new drug called Donanemab to patients suffering from Alzheimer's disease. The obtained results are promising, but concerns about the safety of the preparation remain. Recently, a new drug called Donanemab has been presented, which is a competitor to another drug called Lecanemab. Both target amyloids, proteins that are bound, among others, to with Alzheimer's disease. It is believed that when they accumulate in the brain, they damage neurons and cause dementia. 1,736 people suffering from mild changes caused by Alzheimer's disease took part in the studies on Donanemab. These studies were conducted for 18 months. And there was also a control group that was given a placebo. Based on clinical trials, it was found that people who took Donanemab experienced a 35% reduction in weight over the course of those one and a half years, less disease progression than placebo. At the same time, in relation to the ability to perform daily activities, people taking the new drug saw a 40% improvement in their ability to perform daily activities. Less deterioration than the control group. In the case of Donanemab trials, it was discontinued when amyloid levels in the patient's brains fell below a predetermined level. The rationale here was that if the target was gone, why continue firing? The fact is, however, that as many as half of the patients were able to stop taking the drug after less than a year. At the same time, however, it was noted that the best results were obtained in patients with moderate, not high, levels of another protein associated with Alzheimer's disease, tau. During the tests of Donanemab, as well as Lecanemab, disturbing side effects were observed. First of all, both drugs are able to cause bleeding into the brain and seizures. Scientists suspect that the antibodies used may irreversibly damage the blood vessels in the brain. Although these side effects have also been associated with situations in which patients take anticoagulants at the same time. In any case, such cases occurred several times more often among people taking Donanemab than among those taking placebo. As the doctors emphasize, the three deaths that occurred during the trials may be a factor that will make the risks outweigh the potential benefits. However, even these can be uncertain. First of all, it is questionable whether and to what extent Donanemab is effective at all in patients with high levels of tau protein. In addition, the inhibition of disease progression was determined only in comparison to the placebo group, and not to the individual's progression as a whole. It was also not stated whether the obtained difference is noticeable, e.g. for the patient's family members. At the moment, therefore, it cannot be said with certainty that this drug is effective and safe.